Welcome back to Stockport County Live. We had so much fun doing the quiz last week. We decided to do it all again. We haven't got the clown prince, uh, Dicko, with us this, this <laughs> evening, but he's been replaced by uh, another county legend, Paul Turnbull. Bully, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. Are you? Good to have you debuting on the show. Um, oh, we'll get to the lad. We'll get to the quiz in a minute, but obviously only just in the last couple of hours we've heard about Maradona sadly passing away. Certainly, it's it's hard to look past him as the the best player of his generation. Probably, you know, Messi and Ronaldo in that in that uh, conversation since, but certainly, kind of the eighties, there was no one like him. But, He, um, I'll be honest. He's before. He's before my time. You know, like watching him live and stuff. I didn't really. I've seen the highlights, the best bits. And when you put him in that that kind of category of, uh, you know, Messi, Ronaldo, I'd throw George Best in there. And it's it's crazy that it's on. Is it the 15 year anniversary of George Best today? If yeah, I'm not today, mistaken. Yeah. So you know, for, for for something like that to happen is is crazy. And he is young as well. You know, for a, for, for a professional athlete as well. You know, or, or at least he was. Crazy and um, yeah, it's a big loss, isn't it? It is. Would is he you, the best um, of all time? Is he the best of all time? Um, I think it's always hard. I think with generations for me, I think it's always hard to compare. But yeah, every manager I've had, or ex manager, or ex staff, they've always said Maradona, and they've obviously seen Messi as well and Ronaldo. So I think when you hear so many people say it, obviously, I was a bit like you. I caught the end of them. At, Obviously, World Cup '94 when he got he got thrown out. Obviously, that tournament, but you've seen a glimpse of him when he scored in that tournament. But and when you watch videos and you watch stuff and the stuff he done back then on the pitches and how he could tackle uh, neck high back then as well. Um, <laughs> to see what he done with a football and I think I think probably just pure natural ability and obviously you don't have sports science and. He probably didn't eat and do stuff right off the pitch. So he, I'd say to do what he done, yeah, probably. I don't know, it's a tough one. I saw a story where him and Gascoigne were talking in the uh, tunnel before going out onto a pitch, both telling each other that they were levered before they, before they even got out there. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you reckon, think, Bully, how do you reckon that go down if Jim was managing him? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you know what it's like. You know what it's like. You, you can't even tackle these days, can you? Yeah. No. Jim you know, you know what Jim's like with yellow cards. Hey, yeah. We, we weren't allowed to get yellow cards. We had to win that FIFA fair play every year, didn't we? You still get it now, mate. Safe against us. <laughs> Honestly, mate. Every year we win it. Every year. <laughs> still the same. It doesn't like giving set plays away. So oh, stand, stand your ground. Show them backwards. Cards, well. Is it oh. true? Is it true, lads? I, I heard one that in training, Jim would do a, a thing where if you gave a free kick away in training, he would give yeah, a penalty yeah. to the other team yeah. to kind of drill yeah, into it. Yeah. yeah. Did it I work? Can see, I can see the logic in that, to be honest. I can see it. I, I always complain when I watch football on telly and I think, why have you just give a foul away around the, ed the edge of your own box when the other team are all six foot plus? Yeah. It just doesn't yeah. add up, I think. Oh, they're different I, I, the box, but yeah. I've had a lot of foreign managers and a lot of English managers, and they're the opposite, as in they're more... Obviously not fouling around the box, but they want... Not you to foul on purpose, but... Aggression. the game, tactical yeah. foul all the time. Yeah, no, of course, so yeah. The main one. I yeah. remember I came on one day, dragged someone down the halfway line, we win winning 1-0. After the match, he came in, he just singled me out. Because I dragged someone down the halfway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was delighted. So I can see, but you can see how the Italians and stuff. Obviously, it's different. When, as Matty's saying, it's in around the box, and you're giving away free kicks and you're giving away throw-ins and set pieces and stuff like that. Silly yeah. toy for them. But I think you can, you can see teams are probably getting a little bit cute. I know Harry Kane's getting a bit of stick, but he's getting a bit cute with stuff like that. Obviously, people fouling him is the opposite as well. Boy and fouls. I think uh, I think you're seeing that an awful lot more now with VAR and stuff. So the team yeah. lot. I've even known Jim to drag players off for getting the yellow card. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you get a yellow, yellow card in the first half, you can put to come off at half time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't trust anyone. Is that a is that a good thing if you're playing? You like not a good thing, but is it is it in your head like when you're playing? Just just under no circumstances do we foul. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah, like, with Jim because you, you know what's coming. 
I think like Gary says there, professional foul is different. I think if they're breaking and you're two one up and you've got to take one for the team, that is different. But I think yeah. giving needless fouls away in a very tight game where it's one one or nil nil, maybe away from home where you're under the cosh a little bit. I can 100% just understand that, yeah. I, I'm of mm -hmm. the same mentality. I, I, I'm always shouting at the TV, why do you have a foul away there? Because it's sort of, the onus is on the striker to get past you. Why don't you just stand up? Let him, you've almost done, done his job for him. He's, draw, he's drawn a foul and put you under pressure. Yeah. You know, that, that's my mentality anyway. I can, I can agree, I can agree to, to, you know, for most of it. <clears throat> I think it's a sign of a good team. If you look at the, the great teams or the, the league leaders every year, they're always really high in the fair play league, if not winning it. Yeah. Because that's that you know they've got players who can understand that, and as you say, they'll they'll do a professional, but they'll you know they'll do their job outside of that and not give away fouls. It's it's very yeah. yeah I can see Jim's logic. You ask any winger what they're trying to achieve. They have one or two things. Are we going to get across it? Are they going to go past somebody and draw a foul? That's what that's a winger's job. So yeah. to give him that foul needlessly and cheaply, you know, you make him look a better player than he is. Yeah, no, fair play. Uh, Bully, before we get into the quiz, let's talk about you for a moment. Where where are you these days and how's it, how's it going post-county? Yeah, um, I'm at Curzon now, Curzon Ashton. Uh, great little club, completely different to obviously Stockport. Um, just the environment, everything is just completely different. But it's a great little club, family club, and I'm enjoying every minute. It's good. Sam Walker's there with you now as well, is that right? He is, yeah. Yeah, he signed about two, three weeks ago now. But he's, he's come in, settled down dead well. Just, you know, Sammy's straight down to earth guy, works hard, gets on the training pitch and goes home. Top guy. Yeah. No, fair play. I think, I think, am I right in saying there's a few county players now, a few from, from that team. Darren Stevenson's there as well. Darren's there, Mark. yeah. Alex Curran's there. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. So you've kind of got like a county nucleus going on there already. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, there could be a couple more coming. I'm not naming names, but there could be a couple more on the cards. Um, you must be getting the cut out, are you? <laughs> you tease, bully. You tease. <laughs> no, like I say, it's a great little club and we've got a good little team going now. Um, quite a bit of experience, a few young lads to mix in as well. So, yeah, it's good. Good little club. So, um, Niall Bell's gone out on loan to Halifax. It's a good move yeah. for him, I think. Get some minutes at a big club. It's good. He's going to be on time every day because he's a bit of a driver, <laughs> and he's yeah. you know like he's known for his. He's, obviously, he's fined every day for being late. So, and that's a bit of a driver. <laughs> I tried to get a cousin. I'm not going to lie to you. I tried to get there because I know it's 10, 15 minutes from his house. Dead local. Loads of football, but he decided to go there. So, yeah, I wish you all the best. Fair play. Well, we'll catch up properly, maybe after the quiz, maybe bring you on for a, a proper catch-up. Uh, but Martin, and as and as we said last week, it's in his contract, we have to call him Sir when he's a quiz master. <laughs> Martin is a uh, quiz master connoisseur up there. On you go, mate. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, no, got, uh, three, uh, We've got some special questions for Gary tonight because he enjoyed it so much last week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> got three... Three rounds of ten again. First round is on Premier League players. Hmm. Easy one to start off with. Who is the current top scorer in the Premier League? <clears throat> That's my little gift to you this evening. Second question. Who's currently got the most assists in the Premier League? Question three, name the country each of these players plays for. So, Na Nabi Keita, Hakim Zayic, and Nicolas Pepe. So, a point for each. Question number six, which ex-Premier League player is currently Fulham manager? Hang on. Question Wait. number six. Is yeah, because there's, there's three, one, four, five, three, three, four, five, yeah, for the national. Oh, right, okay, sorry. What was the sixth one, Martin? Uh, which ex player is currently Fulham manager? Is it Ryan Reynolds? 
So seven, eight, and nine. Name the current club of these three ex Premier League players. So a point for each again. Nicholas Otamendi now plays for Christian Eriksen. Now plays for and Emre Chan now plays for. So that's seven, eight, nine. And question number 10, pub quiz classic. We all know Sergio Aguero scored them from a Mario Balotelli assist to win City the Premier League. How many other assists did Balotelli register in his Premier League career for City? Just for, just for City? Just for City. How many That's assists? Tough question, that. Wow. Uh, That's a very tough question. Is it closest to, or has it got to be exact? Yeah. Closest to. Closest what are you? Is, unless you get it. Closest to, yeah. Okay. How long was he there for? I don't know how long he was there for. I think two years max. Does anybody want any other questions back? No. That should be all right. Okay. Who's the current <clears throat> top scorer in the Premier League? Jamie Vardy. Calvert-Lewin, correct. Calvert wow, mate, what am I doing? And who's got the most assists? Is it Harry Kane? It is Harry Kane. Uh, yeah. uh, Youngman's son, and he was one of them. Naby Keita plays for... I don't know that. It's I didn't get that one. Sorry, I'm Guinea. Up. For uh, Guinea, who Guinea, Guinea, yeah. No. Hakim Zayic is Moroccan. 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 No. And Nicholas Pepe, France. Ivory, Ivory Coast. Uh, Nicholas Nicholas Pepe is France. France. I didn't know that. We're off the board, boys. Who's the manager of Fulham? Parker. Scott Parker. Scott Parker. Yeah. Although, if you're watching this on Sunday night, <laughs> you might not be. Depends <laughs> <laughs> uh, when he goes out. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Otamendi plays for Valencia. Benfica. No, I didn't get that one. No, Eric, Christian Eriksen. A lad. Inter Milan. Inter, yeah. And Emery Chan plays for Dortmund. Dortmund, yeah. That's oh, one. Done my research this week, lads. Fair play. So what, you're forgetting that. What have you got for the Balotelli question? Twelve. At Thirteen. I, I put eight. I think it's a trick. I think you're going to say zero. Is that your answer? Yeah. You got one though, didn't he? For the Aguero one, didn't he? Yeah, but yeah, other how than many? That. How oh, many right. others? You're right, Chris, you're right. He had no other assists in the Premier League. Fair play. Wow. <coughs> wow. wow. See, you can read too much at the stats, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Says Gary Dicker to every manager he played for. Exactly. It's the assist. Yeah. <laughs> the assist to the assist is a bully. Mate. That's it, mate. Yeah. That's it. The pre assist. Matty, how many did you get? Five. One, two, Gary? Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gary. Bully. Five. Play. Chris. Four. 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 See what happens when you stand with three guys. Dixie's in the lead. Dortmund Second. Got Dortmund got me over a hole there. Nothing Experience. You did. So that is. Did well with Dortmund there. Uh, second subject is world football. Oh, oh wait. Do you need to do the, the drawing one so we can get going? On oh, it? yeah, yeah, sorry. So your bonus question, um, and you've got the rest of the quiz to do this, and we'll judge it at the end. Can you draw for me a picture of what Dicko is doing right now? <laughs> I can, but I can't, I can't put it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could, like, put some, like, censored bars across bits of it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> how how do you draw a blur? <laughs> a blur. <laughs> yeah. How do you draw a kind of carly? How do you yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Cause light. I was gonna say, come on, bully, he's cause light. <laughs> yeah. 
He hasn't been on here when he hasn't been on the ale. It's funny. When he said he was on the call, we had him on with uh, Alex Reid. He was saying he's on cause like because he's looking to get back in for one more season. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he could be up to. There you go. He could be up to oh, absolutely anything. So you can draw anything. Anything. Is this that sort of question? Are we actually drawing something? Yeah, yeah, we had to draw. Yeah. Just so you know, last week. That's why Ray's <laughs> going to run up. <laughs> D- Dickles was like Michelangelo's over there. Oh, Wicked. That was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it was funny that one. He yeah. drilled with his feet. <laughs> 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 that big toe is. <laughs> <laughs> so, hang on. Well, yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. You're all right. World football, while you think about your drawings. The famous River Plate Boca Juniors derby takes place in which city? Say that again. The world famous Boca Juniors and River Plate derby match takes place in which city? Oh, mate, I'm going to have to start this deco drawing again already because. <laughs> I can't in good conscience start, start, start looking at him. Yeah, what's wrong with that? What's right with that? It's very accurate. He's Question smiling. number two. Uh, the, there's a FIFA award called the Push Cash Award. What's that for? What do you win the Push Cash Award for? Push Cash. Question three. Who won the first ever World Cup? Question four, where will the 2026, so not the the next one, but the one after, where will the 2026 World Cup be held? Have they announced that? Yes. Who... Question five, who's the only player so far to win the Champions League with three different teams? Question six, which team plays at the Mostella? Question seven, who are the current Africa Cup of Nations holders? Question eight, and who's won the Africa Cup of Nations the most times? Question nine, how many times have Brazil won the World Cup? Question 10, what was the score of the England versus Brazil World Cup? game in 2002 Japan Korea could you say 456 again please 456 yeah Uh, where will the 2026 World Cup be held there's four Five is who's the only player so far to win the Champions League with three different teams. And six is where's the who, which team plays at the Mistala. Any others need repeating? Champions League with three clubs. Has anyone got without saying the answer? Has anyone got that? Yeah. Martin, can you repeat ten, please? Then what was the score of the England-Brazil match in the 2002 World Cup? Thank you. You've been very well brought up, Matty Mainwaring. You're a very polite man. Kudos, very to, your pa- kudos to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> okay. River Plate, Boca Juniors. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, correct. The Push Cash Award is given for... Best goal. Best goal, yeah. Who won the first ever World Cup in 1930? Uruguay. Uruguay, yeah. 
held here, I think, yes, four of them. Cool. Where's the 2026 World Cup going to be held? Is it England? USA. USA, Canada and Mexico. Mexico. Oh, wow. yeah. Didn't get that. Can I have that for USA? Don't know. Up to the lads. Do, do you get me from... We'll tell you at the end. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it. Yeah, I'll tell you at the end. Yeah, see what we get. Yeah, you like it. You but... can have one in brackets there, Chris. Who do we think is the player who's won the Seedorf. Champions League? It is Cl Clarence Seedorf. Oh, wow, God. never got that in a million years. Great shout. Oh, yeah. What was it? Yeah, what were the teams, Dixie? Yeah, and... Real Madrid. Correct. Who were they, Dix? Ajax, Real Madrid and Milan. Wow. Showing your age there, mate. Wow. Hold you. Solid, solid, trivial knowledge there, mate. Solid. Who plays at the Mistala? Valencia. Valencia, yeah. 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 Jesus. You when we do pub quizzes for real, it. Gary. Yeah, like... Told you. Told you if you do proper questions, I'll win these. <laughs> <laughs> when he's getting them right, the proper questions. You didn't believe uh, me last week. <laughs> Who's the Africa <laughs> Cup of Nations holders? Egypt. Egypt. No, no, Algeria. Ivory Coast. Oh. Algeria. Who's won the most? Egypt. Egypt. It is T Egypt, yeah. Oh, I didn't get that either. How many times have Brazil won the World Cup? Four. Five. Five, Six. five, yeah. I'm on five, lads. I was, I was counting the next one as well. And what was the score <laughs> in the in 2002 between England and Brazil? Two one Brazil. I got two one. Yeah, it two was. One. Yeah, it was two one Brazil. Correct. You all got oh, that. Who scored for England? Who scored for England that day? Was it Michael Owen? Michael Owen, Michael yeah. Owen, yeah. yeah. He got that header that went over top yeah. of his head, wasn't it? Header that went over the top of his head. Um, well Matty, what'd you get? Five again. Dixie? Seven. Six. <sighs> Bully? Four. Chris? Bringing in, the, bringing in the points now, mate. I'm on six. Oh, I'm not catching up. I think, I think, Gary, I think you're running away with this one. How are the uh, how are the pitches looking? How are we feeling oh, about wait, that? That, that? That's what I'm on now. I'm, to I'm, not, I'm not started. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. not you, see, you see, I've only known Dicko from the past, so what will be drawn might be just from the past, not from now. <laughs> I'm sure he's a changed man. <laughs> so the la last question is just various football questions. <laughs> First question, who did Gary Lineker play the most games for out of Everton, Barcelona and Spurs? He played the most games for Leicester, but out of Everton, Barcelona and Spurs, who did he play the most for? Oh, Dicko. This is hard. What? <laughs> yeah. Is it, have you drawn something on his picture that's hard, Chris? <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Ready? Um, which Sheffield United forward scored the first ever goal in the Premier League? Uh -huh. uh, I'm feeling this is Gary's goes on for a 10 here, I reckon. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have a slight contest to that last question. Ask me when we're doing the answers. Ask me when we're doing the answers. Okay. Which Italian club did Gaza play for? Which team plays at Ashton Gate? Playing as we speak. Get away from the telly, you lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like looking at this big map up here like <laughs> where's Ashton again <laughs> who yeah. is the most successful team in Northern Ireland out of these three Glen Tor and Linfield or Crusaders who's won the most league Northern Ireland leagues
It's Shabby Alonso's birthday today. How old is he? Which country is currently top of the FIFA World Rankings? And out of these three, in 210th place, which is which team is bottom? Is it Pakistan, Sri Lanka, or San Marino? That's that's number eight, Martin. Which that's is number the, eight. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the lowest ranked LM? The lowest ranked, yeah. It's one of those three in 210th place. And two part answer to the last one. So this is nine and ten. Which two keepers? Currently featuring the EA Sports FIFA rankings top ten. Which two keepers of of all time? Or? No, no, the current the oh, EA oh, Sports right. the EA Sports FIFA rankings for players at the moment. Um, oh, there's right, two. Yeah, I've got you. Yeah, two yeah, of them so are keepers. Two of them are keepers in the current right. top ten. Yeah. Right, right. Is that nine and ten, or just nine? That's nine and ten. Anybody want any back, any questions back? Number two, please, right? Uh, which Sheffield United forward scored the first ever goal in the Premier League? Just remembered why I didn't put anything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yep. Who did Gary Lineker play the most games for out of those three? Spurs, I'm saying. Spurs. Uh, Everton. Spurs. It was Spurs. Yes. Yeah. He only uh, played the season and a half at Everton in the end. I, I was really surprised to read that when he yeah. signed for Barca. Um, no, who so he never got booked? Never got booked in his whole career? No. No. Jimbo was trying to sign him. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Gannon type player. Which um, Sheffield United forward scored the first goal? Brian Dean. Brian, Brian. Dean. Brian. Wow. Was it not Crystal? Was it not Crystal Palace? No, it was Brian Dean. No, no, Sheffield Brian Dean. United. Sheffield United. Edda, Bosch. Yeah, he done well if you get that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Who did Gaza play for in Italy? Lazio. 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 Who plays at Ashton Gate then, Matty? Bristol City. Bristol City. Yeah. And special for you. It's North Northern. Come on, you're here. North Northern is not Ireland. Come on, though. Me and you are going to fall out. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Have him, Dixie. <laughs> well, that's a very politically yeah, charged a question. That's, that's a politically charged uh, um, subject, that, Gary. Some of us believe that it is. Politics are later. Yeah, exactly. After 10 p.m. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, who is it? Linfield. Linfield, yeah. 54 league titles. Um, Shabby Alonso, how old is he? 40. 41. 38. 39, I put. 39, bullies nailed it. Uh, <laughs> oh, guess I. <laughs> Who's currently number one in FIFA World Rankings? Belgium. 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 It, it is Belgium. And who's bottom? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. San Marino. San Marino. San Marino. Yeah, San Marino. Yeah. Marino. Haven't they just got, they've just gone three games unbeaten, haven't they? Scapegoats, aren't they? I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. Well, <laughs> they'll still be bottom. <laughs> teams often struggle against them, though, don't they? Like, only yeah. win 2 0 or whatever, and then the worst team in the world. But anyway, um, which two keepers are in the FIFA top 10? Alison. Neuer. Neuer. No. 
I put all black. All black, yeah. Well done. Good shout. Handanovic. That's the only one mm. I got. No, it's Ter Stegen and Oblak. No, I didn't get any. Not fair play though. Mm -hmm. Obviously nonsense that Alison isn't in there, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that for there's him. That, there's <laughs> that Liverpool fan. There he is. <laughs> Just popped up to say hello. <laughs> That's Silvers anyway. I'm a Liverpool fan. Fully annoyed here, isn't it? Yeah, it's all it's all a bit united round here. Matty, what'd you get? Five again. Three five. Five again. Three five. E easy to add yours up then. Yeah. Dixie. Six. Six. Can't see you not winning this, Gary. Bully. Absolute seven. Bully did well there. And um, Chris. Bully. Six. Well, he's Six. cheating, definitely. Look at him. I can look at me sheep as he's moving about all the time. <laughs> so. So what do you want? So what do you want to do about your own questions? Is it double points you, for everyone else, or yeah? No. I think if you just do the rounds, just go around us one at a time. Maybe pick me last, and uh, <laughs> that's the guys. The, yeah, let me get their questions out, and everyone else gets two if they get it right. Yeah. Say that again. So if you answer each other's question right, you get two instead of one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, was everyone happy with that? Yeah, perfect. Matty Mainwaring, what's your question? Um, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to go for I'm going to go for a boxing question. That's a shock. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. Okay, doke. Uh, you did say anything you want, didn't you? Yeah. 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 So, which forty-two to one underdog caused? One of the biggest upsets in sporting history, and by handing Mike Tyson his first defeat with a tenth round knockout in 1990. Oh, I know, I know. What five. Won't have a clue, mate. Know his name. Good, Chris, getting it down. Light, light work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. I know nothing couldn't, about boxing. Couldn't have made it any easier. Was it, Marvin, know, was it Marvin Hagler? <laughs> was it Was it Brian London? <laughs> was it Matty Mainwaring? No, it's a bit big for me. <laughs> was it Sonny Bill Williams? It's Paul Turnbull. <laughs> so, shoulder bars. I wouldn't have, have a clue, mate. So, Chris, Chris is in for two. Who is it, Chris? Buster Douglas. Buster Douglas, yeah. Good answer. Buster Blood Vessel. Good answer. What's your question, Gary? My question. Yep. Who is West Ham's top goal scorer in the Premier League era? Tricky. Good one. Um, it's quite close. I'll give you that. He's now retired. I'll give you a hint. There you there. He's not English. There's another hint. He's not English. Been too kind here. Chris, any ideas? Matty? I've gone uh, with... Has everyone got an answer, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. I've gone Freddie Canute. No. Oof, close. Good answer. <clears throat> Anyone else? Have you got anything, Bully? No. I'm trying to think, mate, but I just can't. It's not... <laughs> no answers, lads, no? Dick, Dick can you didn't play for Dick Canio, is it? It's the Canio. Well done, buddy. <laughs> wow. The guess last, last minute. <sighs> I thought, do you know what I thought about him? And I thought it's too obvious. But... Yeah, I thought that. I thought. That's pretty yeah. close between the Canio, Mark Noble, uh, Andy oh, yeah. Carroll, and also Antonio's creeping up as well. 
Yeah. Noble's a veteran, isn't he? Pens, he's always on pens. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Good answer, bully. Fair right, play. Huh? Okay, mate. Bully, bully, your turn for, for the question. Okay. Obviously, staying with football and the 2008 when we got promoted, who could tell me the, the crowd, what was in the stadium? How many were there? At Wembley? At Wembley, yes. Against Rochdale. Closest to? Nearest, nearest to, Bully, yeah. Yeah, go on. Okay. I've, got an, I've, got, an, I've got an answer. I'm saying 18... You're saying 18. 000. I'm saying 36, Bully. Wow. I've gone 14, 6, 5, 1. <laughs> you were a bit late, Chris. 35,700 it was. <laughs> was it? I'll take that. Wow. I didn't think it was that oh, much. Did you? Matthew Main were in great Do you know what? Yeah. No, I was in the crowd, that's why. I, for some reason, <laughs> I, just, I, I just remember it. I remember okay. it. I, I think I was just about signing for you at that time, so... I did remember you, being uh, about 35, 36. Did you count them? Yeah. <laughs> 35,000, yeah. I would have never yeah. known that. Okay. My question, and uh, it took me a while to come up with this one. Name the female character with glasses in Scooby-Doo. I, I don't know how that question came to me. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Even better if I get it. Well, we I've answer? got an answer. I've got an answer. Has everyone got, got an answer as well? Have you got one? Well, that's Selma. No. You're not going for it. Oh, go on. No. All right. Dixie, me or you? You go, go on. <laughs> Thelma. I'll put Wilma, but yeah, it could be Thelma. I think it's Velma with a V. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> Is Wilma not in the in the Flintstones? Well, uh... <laughs> we need we need to know that. We need to know that. Yeah, I think it's Velma myself. I'll have a, I'll have a look. Well, have a look. Go on, get back on Google there again. <laughs> <laughs> so are we saying nobody. Uh... Yeah, there you go. What is it? Full name Velma Dinkley. What did you say, Chris? Thelma. Thelma. Oh, okay. Wilma, I said Wilma, yeah. I said Thelma with a TH. Point each. Half. <laughs> half a point. Who am I giving half a point to? Am I am I I didn't know the I didn't know the answer. I just didn't have a yeah. question. You should have a point. You should have <laughs> point he's taken off. Half points off. I should I should get something. I'll he's not getting half point. He's not getting anything. He's getting points taken off. Yeah. I've it I've it the post there. I should get a, I should get a new off the crowd. So which means I think Bully could have won that with the canyon, by the way. Well I got you, you won on the second round, mate. I, I got the uh, crowd. We've and, still got we've still got the bonus question from Martin's oh, yeah. Egghead's oh, box. Oh, yeah. And the drawing. And the drawings were five points. Oh, I'm nowhere near the drawing. No. I did so, that ages ago. It'd be no good. At the moment, Matty's on 15 and a half. I've got a minute, Chris. Hang on a minute Martin. Yeah. I got, I got three lots of five. Oh, sorry, seven, sorry 17 and a half. 17 and a half. Every point. Sorry, counts. sorry mate. Um, Bully and Chris are on 18 and Dixie's on 19 Ooh. wow it's all to play for so do, you want, to play. do you want your egghead question yeah yeah. before the drawing yeah go for it this is it Bully we can catch him What's this I didn't know we were making this a thing What, what's it worth? What's it worth, Martino? Don't know if he can hear us. Sorry, I didn't what's know it, we were making it a thing, but... What's it worth? What's it worth? It's Daphne. Yeah. It's from... You're taking on Daphne. Yes, Daphne. Um, what's it she in Scooby-Doo? 
Uh, is it? Yeah. No. It was a Daphne um, Scooby Doo. Um, yeah, Daphne. Yeah, there was. Was there a Daphne? Yeah, Daphne was the fit one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fred. <laughs> so I'm picking this out of the middle. And it is a food and drink question. Oof. So what are we saying for this? How many points? Two for this one, seeing as it's so close? Yeah. Two, two will make a difference, yeah? Yeah. So... What is the basic ingredient of the Japanese soup miso? Is it bamboo shoots, soya beans, or radishes? Can you read it again, please? <laughs> yeah. What is the basic ingredient of miso soup? Japanese miso soup. Miso. Bam bamboo shoots, soya beans, or radishes? <laughs> Gary's like really like. <laughs> thinking about is there a chance? Is is I'm there a chance it's in there? And everything. I'm thinking about what they are. Eat and where, where is one Daph Daphne got it right, so you know. If you're on egg edge, you'd have to make sure you got it right. Do you know? Ed, do you know the bombshell Martin dropped on us after the uh, after the quiz finished last week, fellas? What? Go on. He's Go been on. he's been on eggheads. Have I you? have. Yeah. Have you? Uh, yeah, I lost. I, I lost it to um, Judith on music. It was a. Uh, it was a. It was a fix. Let me tell you. <laughs> she got. She got questions like, "Name the four lads from Liverpool who, yeah, you know, were the best group in the world." And she went, "Oh, I don't oh, know. Is, is it? Is it the Beatles?" Um, yeah, and I got two quite two medium ones, and then a really hard jazz question at the end. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> uh, you can't shout this one out because obviously there'll be copying. But the answer is soya beans. Who honestly got that right? No, I didn't. I didn't. No, get I didn't. So that leaves us down to the drawing to see if anyone can get an extra. See if anyone can get the extra two points to beat Gary Dicker. Chris, what you got? Here is my Liam Dickinson drawing. We should we should try and get him on the phone and get him to pick, really. But here he is in his full kit, reading his favourite book with his medal on and his cause light. <laughs> <laughs> I've got him. I've got him drinking as well. But he's got massive the massive feet. Used to have big soy <laughs> from hell. <laughs> I've got the same feet. He's got the biggest... I, I've just got a crate. I've got a crate of Carling. Great <laughs> Carling. Sat down. There's your little family. <laughs> this twelve <laughs> playoff winning medal here. I think I'll give it to you, Matty. To be fair, was like a bist. He's got a bister. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'll tell you what we should do. We should all hold them up to the screen and I'll just cut that little bit out and send it to him. And we'll we'll get him to pick uh, later on. That's for you, I, Dicko. I had just got a KFC, but it shut at the moment. <laughs> 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 My details are spot on, though. Look at the difference in size. <laughs> Perspective. <laughs> I was thinking about putting like some kind of air conditioning in there because he's always complaining how hot he is. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. if we're given if we're giving it to Matty, then he's I won the game yeah. by half a point. Oh, he put, <laughs> tight! He put he put a lot of effort into that picture, so I started it. Really. Yeah, I'll do that, mate. I tried. I had I had a few attempts. Signed it on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, anyone listening to the podcast right now you can win that <laughs> Matty you, you win this this roll of parcel tape that I just found under the desk cheers I'll, buddy I'll send it to you sure it'll come in handy excellent, excellent job lads well done very good fellas much better quiz this week I'll admit much better questions thank you <laughs>